Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 25 minus 2 to the power of 24. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 2 to the power of 25 as 2 to the power of 24 plus 1. So I have this minus 2 to the power of 24. And the reason I did this is because we want both of these to be the same. We want to have two to the two two to the power of twenty fours. So the best way of changing two to the power of twenty five as two to the power of twenty four times something is to rewrite this as two to the power of twenty four plus one. So now I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So now 2 to the power of 24 plus 1 turns into 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1. And I still have this minus 2 to the power of 24. Now from here, what I'm going to do is factor out 2 to the power of 24. Because notice how both of these terms have 2 to the power of 24 in them. So, I get 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 24 is just 2 to the power of 1. And negative 2 to the power of 24 divided by 2 to the power of 24 is just negative 1. So I get 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 24 times 2 minus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 24 times 1. And this is just anything times 1 is obviously just equal to itself. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 24. Now, from here, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 12 times 2. So, the reason I did this is because I can now use the property a to the power of n times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And 2 to the power of 12, well, 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. 2 to the power of 2 is double of 2 to the power of 1, so 4. And 2 to the power of 3 is double of 2 to the power of 2, which is 8. So this pattern goes on. And I keep on doubling this until I reach 2 to the power of 12, which is equal to 4,096. So this is my value for 2 to the power of 12. So now I get 4,096 squared. Now, what most people would do, well, first of all, 4,096 squared is the same thing as 4,096 times 4,096. And from here, what most people would do is they would just multiply this like this. So they do 4,096 times 4,096 and use the conventional method to multiplying it. However, this method takes way too long and it's really easy to make an error using this method. So instead, to more easily solve this, I'm going to rewrite this as 4,000 plus 96 times 4,000 plus 96. And now I can use a distributive property. So I get 4,000 squared. Plus 
plus 4,000 times 96 plus 4,096, 4,000 times 96 plus 96 squared. Now, from here, four thousand squared. Well, this is simple because all we have to do is four squared, which is sixteen, and then a thousand squared, which is a million. So a million has six zeros. So all we have to do is add six zeros to the end of this. So I get sixty million. It's four thousand squared plus four thousand times ninety-six. Well. 4, 4 times 96 is 384, so then all we have to do is add three zeros to that. So I get 384,000, and then this should be 4,000. So plus, again, 4,000 times 96, which is 384,000, plus 96 squared, which is 9,216. So now all we have to do is add all of these up, which is fairly simple. So I get 16 million plus, let's first start by adding up 384,000 plus 384,000. So that's going to be 768,000 plus 9,216. And now this is equal to 16 million plus 768,000 plus 9,216, which is 7,000, or sorry, 777,216. And now for my final step, I just have to add this to 16 million. So we don't have to worry about the millions place, so I just get 16,777,216. So this is my answer to this problem. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like because I have many more videos like this on my channel in my channel, which you guys can try to solve. And if you're up for challenges, I have a bunch of those as well. So please make sure to subscribe and thank you. Bye. All right. So in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 16 to the power of X is equal to X to the power of two. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the power of one over two X on both sides. So I get 16 to the power of X to the power of one over two X is equal to X to the power of two to the power of 1 over 2x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So we can use this property for both of these terms. 16 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to 16 to the power of x times 1 over 2x and x to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to x to the power of 2 times 1 over 2x. Now, the x and x cancel out on my left-hand side because they multiply out, so I'm left with 16 to the power of 1 half on my left-hand side. And for my right-hand side, the 2's cancel out, so I'm left with x to the power of 1 over x. Now, my goal is to turn the left side to be in the form some number to the power of 1 over that number. So we can make that number our solution. Well, right now, this means that 16 and 2 have to turn into the same number. So we need to rearrange this so that 16 and 2 are the same number. So to do that, Sixteen is the same thing as four squared. So I'm going to rewrite it as four squared. So I have four squared to the power of one half is equal to x to the power of one over x. 
And now remember, these two multiply. 2 times 1 half is just 1. So I'm left with 4 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, 4 is the same thing as negative 2 squared. And 2, our exponent here, I can rewrite as 1 over negative 1 half. And I have this times negative 1. So I have 1 over negative 1 half times negative 1. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So this negative 1, I'm going to move to be an exponent of negative 2. So I get negative 2 to the power of negative 1 to the power of 1 over negative 1 half is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And negative 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over negative 2. So my solution here is negative 1 half.